Hey guys, Science here as always with another Borderlands 2 challenge guide. This one comes per request from Exolinks and it is the Tundra Express What's Yours Is Mine challenge. This one requires you to disable all five of Tiny Tina's pink landmines via the green switch on the side. Through the view of my handy dandy sniper rifle you can see exactly what the switch looks like as well as a good view of the mine. I'm going to be saving the most annoying mine for last so let's get started with number one. Here you can see exactly where it is on the map, right next to Old Man Johnson's farmhouse. So now let me show you how to disable the mine. As I said before, there's a switch on the side you have to hit. These are motion activated landmines, but there is a short delay, so you have to sprint in and hit your action key over the switch. You know, before it explodes. This may seem simple enough, but you'll see some of the later ones are a little trickier. If you mess up, just reload your game, come back, and you can try again. Now don't worry, if you mess up on one of the later ones, all of your previous ones stay completed so you don't have to redo them. Number two is nearby, as you can see, to the northeast next to the train tracks. This one's a little trickier as it's on a ledge and you are going to have to jump. Now you don't have to situate yourself on this little rock like I did here. As long as you sprint jump onto that first rock, you should be able to make it. I also jump a second time, which you do not have to do. That little bump you see up ahead, you can actually run over. So go ahead and sprint on in and hit that switch. And there's number two. Heading farther north, we'll find the next one at the split of the railroad right next to where the cold of the vault symbol is. Here I indicate exactly where on my map you can find it. Now you'll see here that the train passes by as I'm in my map menu. This is one obstacle you have to look out for, but if the train is just passed as it did here, you're not going to have to worry about it. The second obstacle is that you actually have to jump over a ledge to get to the landmine, but if you position yourself here, it's a straight shot to the switch. So sprint your way in, hopefully not getting hit by the train, jump, hit your action key, and there you have number three. With three out of five out of the way, we'll head across the map and I'll indicate right here where you can find it. When we initially got this landmine, I forgot to record, but you'll see here it's a straight shot with no obstacles and it's a pretty easy one to get. Don't mind the explosion, if you've already disarmed a bomb, you can't disarm it again. So of course, there's number four. So now I'll show you where to find the fifth and final landmine. As I said earlier, this one is definitely the most annoying. But for starters, here's where you can find it on your map. There are a couple of different directions from which you can approach the landmine, but the switch is actually facing the outside of the ledge. We tried several different things when we were trying to disarm this landmine and we're having little luck. Here you'll see that I actually attempt to get it from above, and though I don't succeed in this clip, it does seem to be the most viable option. Not only do you have two ledges to go down, but you have to turn when you land to be able to hit the switch. Here I try tucking myself into the corner of the second ledge. This doesn't work as the ledge is too close to the mine and you'll set it off before you even get close to the switch. Here I try again from the other angle and even spec and to increase movement speed after a kill, I still can't reach it in time. I recommend taking this route behind where Madame von Bartlesby is, so you can drop down from above. Following that route also proves to be a little less annoying because there are less spawns to deal with and the ones you do have to deal with are just varvids. Here you see I drop down from above again with the speed boost and still don't succeed. I had to turn off my recording software in order to get the smoothest frame rates possible to be able to hit it, but regardless, there you have number 5. Hopefully this guide was helpful and easy to follow, if so please be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me, I'd really appreciate it, and share it with your fellow vault hunters. Check the channel for other guides and videos, or click one of the annotations off to the left. If we don't have a specific challenge guide you're looking for, you can always request one in the comments, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for updates on future guide videos. Check the links above, we got Facebook and Twitter if that's your thing. Big thanks to Exolinks for requesting a guide, and as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.